Hey guys, it's Gordon Fest and Fungi. I was driving along and I saw this brilliant flash of orangey yellow. I was pretty darn sure it was a chicken of the woods. This is a beautiful polypore mushroom that occurs on trees year after year. I especially like the eucalyptus here in Napa. This is a brown rot fungi, so it is digesting the cellulose in the wood and that affects the structural stability of these trees. So usually once a tree gets infected with this mushroom, it's bound to fall over. And eucalyptus in particular are really prone to falling over because they grow very quickly. They're not sort of in balance to the natural ecosystem. They're actually an invasive tree here. The chicken of the woods loves them. It is some reason to be cautious because some people get sick from eating chicken of the woods when it's growing on eucalyptus. My strategy is to cook it very well and I've had great success eating this mushroom. Really gorgeous specimen, it's super soft, super tender. You can see all sorts of drops of uh, liquid and gutation on it right now, but I'm gonna carefully work my knife in here and, uh, and try to cut this off in one big piece. Pretty excited to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oops, missed a little bit. Woo, holy cow, it's so moist. So yellow and beautiful. Oh my goodness. An amazing mushroom. Mmm. Has a very sort of distinctive, slightly light lemony smell and this kind of like polypore like character that a lot of mushrooms that grow on, on dead wood like this uh, have a similar kind of smell. Wow, just, just look at that. <laughs> it's just so bright, so vibrant. Uh, incredibly tasty mushroom when you cook it up right. So I'm gonna take this home and Make some chicken nuggets and uh, maybe some chicken parm or something. Beautiful rings of growth. So chicken of the woods are indeterminate mushrooms, meaning that they're growing from a single point outwards and they're growing at the tips as they grow out from here versus a mushroom that's a pin and just expands. So because these are indeterminate mushrooms, there's gonna be gradients of growth along here. So this is kind of where the muscle fiber of this mushroom is running, is like this. What I like to do is come down and slice across the lobes, maximizing the cross section I get, and it's got a lot of these little things like this, and this feels a lot like muscle texture in the mouth because it slips and slides the way that muscles do. And this is, this is why people say it tastes like chicken, because it texturally, it really does have a similarity to chicken. Look at that. <laughs> Here I'm breading some chicken of the woods that I baked off previously for about 30 minutes at 375 degrees. I'm dredging it in flour, egg, and then panko breadcrumbs, all of which have been seasoned with porcini powder, salt, pepper, and oregano. I also added chopped rosemary to the panko breadcrumbs for a little extra texture and high notes when it's fried. We use the deep fryer to cook these, but you can also shallow pan fry them. Since these have been pre-baked, I'm really just concerned with getting the breadcrumbs browned. Here I'm laying down some olive oil, some fresh garden tomato sauce that I made, then blitzing them in the blender and straining it off. I then reduced the sauce by about half. I add my chicken fillets or nuggets here. There's one real piece of chicken in here. Can anyone see it? Then I add mozzarella on top. I sprinkle on a little bit of oregano and we come in and we just kill it with parm from the microplane grater. Next, I put this in an oven at about 375 for 10 minutes. Last two minutes, I broil it to get really nice and crispy on top. We toast it off a couple of buns. Got a little bit of mayo out of the fridge. We cut up some fresh tomatoes from the garden. Oh, so good. You can see the other chicken of the woods we still had left. Made a big batch. So I added some mayo, put down some arugula, added my stacked up chicken of the woods parm, some fresh tomato. Oh, it's such an amazing, delicious dish. It's so satisfying. It's so fresh. It tastes so good. And oh my goodness, you guys have got to try this.